Hi Angie, good news! It's summer, so I have time to read books again! So recently I read Divergent by Veronica Roth, and I think you've already read this one because we discussed it briefly at the pool, um, but it is about a girl who lives in a dystopian future Chicago. When she is 16, she has to take a test that tells her which of the five factions she um, should be part of, and then she has to choose, based on that test stand, what she wants and whatever else, um, which faction she's going to be in. And Chicago's divided into five factions, one based on people who value kindness, the other intelligence, the other uh, honesty, then bravery, and then selflessness. And she's part of the selflessness faction. And she ends up choosing the bravery faction, and it's very interesting. As far as what I thought of this book, um, I thought the writing was very simplistic. Like, it wasn't... the plot was really interesting, it was a good story, but it wasn't a very well-written story, I guess? Um, and I know it's written for kids or young adults, but I mean... They're not dumb. Like, they can handle really good writing, and I just didn't feel like... I don't know. The writing was a little bit lacking for me. Um, also, there was a problem where there were some things revealed to the main character early in the story um, by her mother and a few other people, and then later on those things are re-revealed during the end of the book, and she acts like she's completely shocked, like she's never heard these things before. And that really bothered me because it kind of felt like maybe... I don't know if the author forgot that she had already revealed those things, or if the main character is just a very forgetful person and just doesn't remember very, very important bits of information, but I thought that was kind of annoying. Um, also, there's sort of like an emphasis on whether or not she's pretty, and this is something I've noticed a lot in young adult novels with female main characters, is like even if they're, you know, like more action-oriented novels, or if the character's really important has to save the world, or whatever, there's like this big part of the book, and this, or not even a big part of the book, but like this big emphasis with the character on whether or not she's pretty. Um, and I just feel like, who cares? I mean, maybe this shouldn't be such an emphasis unless it's really important to the story or something. And there are like two different, there seem to be like two different um, viewpoints on this. Like some authors will be like kind of go the whole like their characters eventually gets to feel pretty at some point and they feel pretty and it's great. And then other authors kind of help their, their female characters accept that maybe they're not pretty but they ha at least have striking features or at least they're interesting or at least they're whatever else but they just accept that they aren't pretty. And um, I guess personally I'm more in the everyone should be able to feel pretty at some point camp, but I also just feel like maybe we should stop bringing it up all the time. Like, the most important thing about Triss is not whether or not she's pretty. Um, and I just feel like because it's about a 16-year-old girl, we have to talk about whether she's pretty and her feelings on whether she's pretty. And she's a 16-year-old girl, so I realize she's going to have those at some point, but I just kind of found that a little bit annoying that it's like a thing. Like, okay, let's get over pretty. Um, so things I liked, because there were things I liked. The boy in this is really yummy. Like, he's sort of, like, a little tortured and angsty, but also very, like, interesting and kind and good, but very badass at the same time. He's all, yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good. Um, alright, so aside from Hot Boys, um... I thought, I know that we talked about choosing factions a little bit and how you thought that my ideal society would be a lot like the society in this book, but my argument is that our current society is a lot like the society in this book. If you think about it, I mean, we're pushed from a very young age to start thinking about which careers we're going to choose. And the thing about choosing a career is that, you know, we're all these complex people with these infinite possibilities um, before us, and at some point we have to choose one thing that's only going to emphasize a certain number of our many characteristics. And so it's like we're giving up on all of these other potential futures and we're putting all of these other 
things about ourselves away in a box somewhere in many cases not always um but it kind of reminded me of yeah choosing choosing a uh major and then choosing a career and then you know you're you're doing one thing for the rest of your life and you're trying to think in a certain way and just kind of focus on that one thing when really you're you're so many things and that's kind of what being divergent and having to choose a faction reminds me of um the other thing i thought was interesting that i really connected with was beatrice's struggle between being abnegation which is the uh selflessness faction that she was born into and choosing dauntless which was the bravery faction because so much of the time she's so torn between what she knows she should do and what she wants to do um like there are times where she just she always feels like she can't live up to the expectations of selflessness and that's because she's human and I feel like I think about that a lot too like there are the things that you know you should do and like there are these lovely ideals that you would love to be able to live up to but at the end of the day you're just human and you get angry with people and you want to be mean to them or you know even though you know like oh we should be nice to everyone and we should be forgiving you know or like there are just like sometimes you just don't want to care about being nice and doing the right thing all the time even though you know what the right thing is and she struggles with that a lot and um it's about like you know you can still be a good person and still be flawed and human and we can't all live up to these really lofty ideals so i really liked that um also it's a really it's a really fast-paced story there's a lot of action and like there's you know the action and romance is is well blended i think and I like that in the story. Um, and I finished it pretty quick, so I really enjoyed reading it. I think... I think I want to see what happens next. I'll probably read the rest of the series. So it was good enough to keep me reading, although I had, you know, some issues with it. So not my favorite book ever, but still pretty good. I guess pretty good is, is my my rating. It's pretty good. Alright, that's, that's all for me.